if we're trying to figure out what value of h would make this matrix work, let's try to solve this. We have to multiply this top row by 3, kind of, first. Um, not really, but we're going to need to use that to subtract it from this, because look, we'd have to we'll subtract 3 over there, and then we'd subtract 12 here, and then we would have to add the 12 over there. So then here we could rewrite this row again. So we're actually not going to change it. But here we get the 0, h minus 12, and then a 0 over here. So we kind of get this expression here that, um, um, well, we'd actually get h minus 12, y is equal to 0. And so you might be tempted to put just a 12 over there and just say, okay, yeah, 12 equals h, and then that would make that work properly. But technically, you can put any number in there. So you could put, you know, 15 in there, and then uh, this would be 3y equals 0. Well, y would just equal 0, and this would also work. So actually, this um, this h is going to go from uh, negative infinity to uh, infinity. So any value of h would work for this. Pretty cool.